Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making Tteokbokki Pull Apart Pizza. So if you guys want to know what this is all about, please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. Alright, looking at the ingredients, it might seem like a lot, but it's not that bad. It's pretty simple actually. And this is going to be making a serving for like two pizzas in like a 9-10 inch skillet. Fairly easy, the sauce will be enough for both of those. So let's get started. You're going to want to get this kind of rice cake for this idea. So all you need to do is just pour your rice cakes right into a bowl and let it soak for a little bit. If it's frozen, then it's not going to pull apart so easily. Once it's defrosted a bit, you'll see that it will pull right apart. So give it a minute or so and then you can easily pull these apart right away. Once you have them all pull apart, go ahead and put them all inside of a strainer and go ahead and shake the basket a little bit so we can start getting all the water drippings out. This way we don't make I mean, this way we make sure that we don't get splattered with oil later when we put these into our pan and they've dried out a bit. We have very little chopping to do, so go ahead and grab a couple of green onions. We're gonna use these to put into our sauce and to sprinkle with later, so go ahead and just chop these up. Give it a good rough chop. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. We're gonna rough, we're gonna go ahead and chop these up now and then we're gonna go ahead and do another rough chop with everything once it's finally done. Kinda make it a little bit smaller. Moving on to our meat, I am using pork belly here, a third cup that you can see. And I will also be using Korean barbecue beef, the bulgogi as well. I am cutting these up into smaller bite-sized pizzas. Honestly, you can just use whatever size it is that you prefer. But use your favorite meats, use chicken, use these, use the nothing if you don't want any kind of meat in it as well to keep it vegetarian. Now this is where the bulk of our ingredients are going. So go ahead and grab a small saucepan. We're gonna do this on high setting the entire time. I'm using a vegetable bouillon cube. You can use chicken broth, beef broth, you can use the anchovy stock if you have that too. Or if you don't have any of that, just use water. But I'm gonna have this going into a rolling boil the whole time and I'm gonna go and stir all of this up trying to break everything up and throw my sugar in first. At this point, if you want a sweeter sauce, add another tablespoon of your sugar of choice. Because you know sometimes tomato sauce in your pizzas are a little bit sweeter and if you like that, go ahead and do it now. I'm also adding my minced garlic as well as my two tablespoons of red pepper paste. If you want it to be a little bit more milder, go ahead and just use one tablespoon of this. I am doing two tablespoons because that doesn't affect us too much. If you want it to be a little bit more spicy, go ahead and add another teaspoon or two of red pepper flakes, the Korean red pepper powders that you guys have seen. Use that as well to make it a little bit spicier. Go ahead and get everything stirred up so we can get that red pepper paste mixed right into our sauce. And then grab a tablespoon of your soy sauce, tamari of choice, or whatever it is. And then the one tablespoon of corn syrup. This is not the Caro corn syrup you find in your American stores. This is the Korean corn syrup. If you don't have it, skip it. Not necessary. It makes it a tiny bit sweeter and a little bit shinier, but that's about it. Add a tablespoon of roasted sesame seeds. And then grab about three-fourths of the green onions that we had chopped up and throw that right into our sauce. Again, I am keeping this on a high heat setting the entire time. This is gonna go for about seven minutes before I start on my actual rice cake part of the pizza. And I'm gonna keep it on high up until I use this on my pizza or on my tteokbokki sauce part of it. Does that make sense? You guys will get it. <laughs> now use about a tablespoon of sesame oil and throw it right into your pan on your high heat setting. Excuse the camera, new tripod, I am adjusting to everything. Apparently I lost my footage here, so let me go ahead and explain. I went ahead and once the oil was all heated through and you can move it easily in your pan, threw my two cups of rice cakes right into this and then I tossed it to make sure that it was evenly coated. Then I put a lid on top of it for about two minutes to make sure my rice cakes were cooked through thoroughly. If you need to cook it a little bit longer, go ahead and leave the lid on and just make sure you're moving it around a little bit at a time until you can see that your rice cakes are translucent instead of the really stark white color and you'll see that as you start cooking it. All right, let's start assembling things. We're gonna go ahead and turn off the heat for our sauce that we have made and we are going to reduce the heat to a medium setting for our frying pan. First of all, your sauce should have reduced to about half the amount that we started with and that will be enough for two of these pans. Now go ahead and grab your cheese of choice. 
For the Korean barbecue beef, I have chosen to use mozzarella. I'm using about 3 fourths cup. Um, go ahead and use more if you'd like. Some people love cheese and so I say, hey, go with it. Once you have your cheese nicely spread right into your pan, then this is where we're gonna grab our meat. I went ahead and nuked my meat for about 30 seconds because we'd already cooked it beforehand. It was just leftovers that we had. And then I chopped it up, or actually I used scissors, and I just cut these up into bite-sized pieces. And I'm gonna just spread it right on top. Doesn't this already look like a pizza, guys? Oh my gosh, I, it was just ideas. We kept throwing it out, and then we were like, hey, why not, let's just try this. And so my husband and I went for this. He came up with the idea, I went for it. That's really what happened. <laughs> okay, and your green onions. That green onions that we saved to set aside, we're gonna go ahead and top it right on top of here. And we're also gonna grab our roasted sesame seeds and we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit on top. Now all you have to do at this point is go ahead and grab your lid, put it on top, let it cook for a bit about three minutes or so to make sure your cheese is nice and melty and when you come back to it you should be able to see how your cheese is doing. So I'm checking out my cheese and I see that I want it to be a little bit more melty so don't worry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more sauce. I'm gonna add the sauce on top and then I'm gonna cover it up with my lid and let it cook for about another minute or so making sure you guys have this down to like a medium setting so you don't burn anything on the bottom. Like I said, I did make two of these. I'm gonna show you guys pictures of both of them. The first one, again, will be the barbecue beef, the Korean barbecue beef. And this is how it looked afterwards. Doesn't it look amazing? And then our pork. With this one, I did use the Mexican cheese with it, and I thought it was amazing. If you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.